600 Madison is on the corner of Madison and 58th Street in the heart of the Plaza District, one block away from the Plaza Hotel and uh, the entrance to Central Park. Uh, the building was developed in the uh, late 60s by my family. So our goal was to really reimagine the the entrance and the lobby of the building. Over the years, we had sort of created a, a patchwork of aesthetic as retail tenants came and went for the last 40 or 50 years. And we really wanted to synthesize and really make the entire entrance and lobby one harmonious feel. So we didn't want the lobby just to be another typically what is in vogue now, a white marble New York lobby. We really wanted it to have some sort of feeling, even, even a theme to it. This building they wanted us to do the lobby for and a new entrance for is also where they house their company. So I think we, we were ready for a process that would be intimate with a client we had worked with before and also with a client that would be in the building. The goal was to create an experience unique to 600 Madison with materials that unified the space and celebrated movement. I think that was clear from the beginning. So the wall panels are flanked with vertical light coves that create a processional that leads you to the reception area. And the theme really is about motion and about light, the way the, the light coves line up, uh, sort of an arcade in the lobby, and even the art that we've selected for the lobby is about motion and light. The first piece of art that you encounter is a mobile by Jose Davila, which really, it moves as the, as the air flows through the lobby, the mobile itself will move just as the people are moving. As you turn the corner into the elevator lobby, you'll see a light sculpture by Leo Villarreal, who is known for lighting up, for, say, the Oakland Bay, bridge, the bridges over the River Thames in, in London, and that also is light and motion. And that was really the big idea, was to, a palette that unified the space uh, with architectural expressions that celebrated movement. And that story, I think, uh, unfolded itself throughout the process, all the way down to the two art pieces that Richard ended up selecting. The building entrance is defined by a two-story portal, and this really created a very unique, I think, slick background for the 600 Madison ID at the building. I think actually the whole process reflects uh, sort of how unusual it is in the market today for a family to actually own an office building in Manhattan. So that's the kind of feeling of the personal involvement that our tenants feel here every day. I think that, the, that our repositioning now will stand as well for the next few decades. And it's, it's great now that I've seen the, the final product downstairs in the lobby. And as this is our home office, I'm going to be walking through this lobby every day for the next few decades. I know I and I hope our, our tenants are going to be as proud of it through the years as we are already today.